In our short tenure at Hook, going on four years, uh, I've written well over a dozen from scratch pitch decks. Mm -hmm. Because there are a number of opinions and points of views on what should be included or not. Uh, So rather than tell you these are the 12 slides I recommend, the 12 bonus slides, uh, I'll say it this way. Um, You need to be absolutely clear the problems you solve. Mm -hmm. And that problem statement, um, so at Hook Security, we say, like, we solve training the non-technical user to recognize online manipulation. Okay, great. That's cool. What's that mean? And so we solve it in different ways. And then we're very clear that we also solve the market access problem. We solve a delivery problem. We we frame everything that we do in the terms of the problems we solve. Mm -hmm. Because as an investor who doesn't know your space or your niche or anything about your new tech, um, they can, in a concrete way, capture, okay, even if I don't invest, I know that this company solved this problem over here. And that's helpful for them to carry it on and pollinate it to their other investor group. Um, and so I make, I make it a point that that needs to be crystal clear in the deck. And you can do things like, uh, I've seen some decks that are pretty powerful where they'll say, you know, Here's this problem, therefore this problem, therefore this problem. Uh-huh. And then your solution is, so we solve this problem, therefore we solve it this way, therefore we solve this thing, right? Um, you can create those narrative structures, and I think those are important to be very succinct. And uh, the, depending on your stage, if you're first starting out, pre-revenue, early revenue, don't have a lot of traction in the market, it's, most, it's more idea and team-based, then your deck should build confidence towards that idea in the team. If, mm-hmm. if you're maturing and you're raising capital and you have metrics in to back it up and you start having historical data, even at the Series A, it might not be statistically significant enough to actually create true historicals, but mm-hmm. it gives you direct direction. And so from the direction where you write to begin and, and build that into your deck. So depending on where you are, I think it's very important to understand what audience is looking and needs from you to make a guess. And that's how you should approach building the deck. 